So here, we've got some missing fraction, addition and subtraction problems. And although these are fraction problems, we do the same thing that we do with missing numbers for whole numbers to find our missing number or our missing fraction. So first, 1 and 1 fifth minus something equals 2 fifths. So here, it's the second number in our subtraction or the subtrahend that's missing. So when the subtrahend is missing, we still use subtraction to find our missing number. So we need to work out 1 and 1 fifth minus 2 fifths and that will give us our missing fraction. But if we only have 1 fifth, we can't take 2 fifths away. So we need to change 1 and 1 fifth to an improper fraction. That's 6 fifths because 1 times 5 is 5 plus 1 is 6 and the denominator stays the same. So now we can subtract 2 fifths, the denominator stays the same and 6 minus 2 is 4. So our missing fraction is 4 fifths. Now something minus 3 sevenths equals 5 sevenths. So this time it's the first number or the menu end of our subtraction that's missing. So remember subtraction problems can be read backwards as addition problems. So to find our missing fraction we need to add 5 sevenths and 3 sevenths. When we're adding fractions we keep the denominator the same and 5 plus 3 is 8. So as an improper fraction our answer is 8 sevenths. But we can turn that back into a mixed number by dividing. 8 divided by 7 is 1 remainder 1. So our fraction is 1 and 1 seventh. Because 1 times 7 is 7 plus 1 is 8 and the denominator stays the same. Now something plus 5 sixths equals 1 and 3 sixths. So whenever we have a missing number in an addition problem, we always use subtraction to find our missing number. So we need to work out 1 and 3 sixths minus 5 sixths to find our missing fraction. But we only have 3 sixths and we need to take 5 sixths away. So let's change this mixed number into an improper fraction. 1 times 6 is 6 plus 3 is 9. So as an improper fraction we have 9 sixths because the denominator stays the same. So now we can subtract 5 sixths. The denominator is still 6 and 9 minus 5 is 4. So our missing number is 4 sixths. And we can show what we did here. So we knew that we started with 1 and 1 fifth. Then we subtracted something to get 2 fifths as our answer. What did we subtract? Well it's the 1, 2, 3, 4 fifths that we can now see in blue on these fraction bars. Then we knew that 3 sevenths had been subtracted from something to leave 5 sevenths. If we show the 3 sevenths that must have been subtracted in blue, we can see that the total at the start must have been one whole because we have one whole fraction bar coloured in and one seven. Then for this last question we know that one and three sixths was the answer and five sixths had been added. So we can show the five sixths that must have been added in blue which means we must have started with four sixths so the four sixths that are yellow here. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope that was helpful. If you're a teacher or a parent then please subscribe or go to keystage2maths.com to download resources for this lesson and many more. That's all for now, I'll see you in the next video.